Hi everybody, it's me, I'm back. How you all doing? I've come on to show you my bag. I'm going to do um, a show and tell just to let you know. <coughs> I did make one of these for Colette for Christmas. And you have to excuse my voice, but I don't know what's happening with it. It's gone all croaky on me. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to show you how to make a drawstring bag with... Just get the stuff together. So this is the bag. I'll show you this. And basically it's a circle, it's a drawstring bag, and on the, on the inside... I'm, I'm still making this one. It's got eight compartments. <coughs> As you can see, <coughs> excuse me, it's not the first time that anybody's ever made a draw, drawstring bag. It's just that I made this one for Colette as a gift. Well, not this one, but I made one like this for Colette for a gift. I'm making this for someone else as well. And Colette said, please, please, please do a video and show us how you made it. So that's what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm starting with some satin. So if I show you the template, I made the template up myself. I did watch a video and I made um, made up the template myself. So basically what you need is um, a 14 inch circle. OK, this tells you on here if you can see that. So you cut one top fabric, which is going to be your outer one, which I've done with satin from a wedding dress. And then one liner so that's that so that's the 14 inch one then you do a 12 inch one which goes like that and you cut the 12 inch circle basically what i did was i cut a 12 inch circle and then i went around with a ruler two inches all the way around to make the the bigger circle but you can make them any size you want um out of any fabrics you want and in in any order that you want so uh so you cut a top and a liner for that so I call it the top fabric, but I'm calling it the outer fabric. So what you want to show. The other thing you need is a four inch circle, which goes in the middle. And for that, you cut out two pieces of felt or a piece of wadding or whatever. And that's going to be the, um, the little bit at the bottom, this bit here. So it's just a bit padded then. So I haven't put the drawstrings in this one yet. And you can still see all the blue markings where I, this just washes off. Um, just just wash just wet it with some water as a pen that and it just comes off but i'm going to do it with the pen just to show you so you can see all the markings the circle the small circle what you need to do is cut it into half this is what i do anyway uh, cut it in half fold it in half fold it in half again fold it in into into a again until you get a circle which has got eight sections and then just mark each one and this is going to be put in the middle and we're going to draw out when we stitch it all together i'm going to be using my sewing machine on this as well so we'll see how this turns out so the first thing to do <coughs> oh excuse me let's see if i can get rid of this quirky voice first thing to do obviously is to cut out your your 14 inch circle and then we are going to be on the top fabric, which is the satin. Let's get rid of the liner a minute. Which is the nice side, which is the, that's the nice side. So what we need to be doing here is marking, uh, fold it in half. Let's do it this way. So we'll do the markings on the inside. Fold it in half, get your half, get your finger pressed it. You can do, you can do it with an iron, it's up to you. And then opposite to each other, an inch, get your ruler, so that A, so mark, mark it half an inch in. And so what we want to do on opposite ends, so it's in a line, so half an inch in, we make a mark, so I need my pen, what have I done with that? Uh -huh. This is my pen here, this is a, it just wash, washes off, wipes off water. So half an inch in, we make a mark. And then another half an inch, we make a mark. And then this is going to be the buttonhole. So we make two buttonholes. Swap it round. So on the same, the same line across.
across. Let's see if I can zoom it in a bit. Zoom it in. That's as much as I can zoom it in. So half an inch, make a mark. And then half an inch, make another mark. So it's basically a half inch buttonhole. Half an inch from it, because we're going to stitch that together. What if I should do it more than that? I'm sure it's fine. It's going to be a quarter inch. Hmm. What do you think? Uh, oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. So maybe we'll do, maybe I'm going to change that actually. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a mark at three quarters of an inch, actually. And then a half an inch. It's a bit confusing, sorry, I'm not sure what now, but three quarters of an inch to there. This is where our, our uh, buttonhole is going to be, and I've got a little bit, little bit left there. So if I go three quarters of an inch, make a mark, and then half an inch from there, rub the buttonhole. Yeah, that looks a little bit too close to the seam. Yeah. We got them on the opposite ends of each other. So now I'm going to get my sewing machine and we're going to do a buttonhole. So I don't know if you want to watch me do that or you can skip through it if you like. Um, but I'll get my machine now. So bear with me a moment. And I'm just going to pause this. Right. So I'm going to put my buttonhole, I've got my machine, this is the best angle I can get, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to put my zipper foot on, my zipper foot, my buttonhole foot on. I don't know if anybody's ever done a buttonhole. Oh, I don't know if you want to watch. If not, you can zoom back through this as well, if you like. Basically, what you do on the end of the, I should have showed you first, but let's show you. Oh, excuse me. So here is the, the gap. This is going to be the buttonhole here. This is the how the length of the buttonhole is going to be. So I've got it to just under half an inch. And then if you're going to, if you're, you've got a specific button that you want to put in, you just pop the button in the end and then it will only sew to there. So I've got that on. Then we bring this down, which goes in between the two. Um, just do my machine setting to button, which is 75. But what I always do, I've marked this on the, the, the right side, unfortunately, when I've looked at it. What I always do with my material is when I'm doing a buttonhole and it wanted one to the, near to the edge, I will start at the beginning um, so that if it goes back too far, then it's further into the material. I'm not. So I'm going to line it up where I want my buttonhole to be. And, and voila! It's going to do a It's going to be a bit noisy, but it's unfortunately one of those things got to be done. And I'm just hoping you can see it. It's a bit, my light's a bit bright on this machine. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing. buttonhole it's a bit noisy and I'm not really sure if the lighting's that good because it's so bright onto here um I wonder if I turned on some more light and see if that that helped take the light away from I don't know if that's made it better or worse actually we'll go with it and see what happens scissors so this is the first buttonhole I've done what you need is um uh, where's me pick them? Do that one. Just turn this round and do the other one. Same concept. Do it away from the light 
trying to start here instead of starting here and working we're turning it around and working the other way i'm going to start here and work my way back and here we go. That's me that now done. So I think what I should have done was I should have done it in a different darker colour than the material, then you'd have been able to see it while I was stitching it better. Oh well, maybe I'll do it again. I don't know. So we're gonna take this foot off now. We don't need that anymore. And we're gonna go back to our normal foot which is not, this is not my normal foot. I don't know where my normal foot is. I've got my one that needs quarter inch. I'm going to look to see if I can find that. Where are you? Hmm. Oh, I don't know what done with it. Maybe I'll just have to use this one. It's very strange. So all you need to do now is basically get your quick unpick, or you can split it with a pair of scissors or something, and then just split, carefully split up so you've got your little hole. And this is what we're going to be threading the, the ribbon through when we finished at the very, very end. Right, so that's that. I'll just get rid of my machine with that. Back on. Push my machine out the way in So what we're going to be doing now with the circle, the lining, what we're going to do is we're going to fold the lining over and press it only with your finger because we need to find the centre. So yet again, I'm going to use my trusty pen and just do a, a dot on the corner. Can you see that? the little dot on the corner okay so there's the dot that's the center and then I need my circle my little circle wherever that is that's my little circle so my little circle is gonna go in the middle there I've got the center there so I can, I can match it up the center there and it's only approximate just there. Okay, Ange. And there. So this here, excuse me, from there to there is gonna be where we're gonna cut a slip so that we're able to turn the material around once we've sewn it all together. Across like that. It doesn't have to be dead on, it doesn't have to be accurate, it just has to be there. So don't lose any sleep if you, if you um, don't get it 100% accurate. Please don't lose any sleep over it. So all I'm going to do now is where this little line is, I'm going to do a little split. That little nick and then just cut across because this is all, none of this is going to show. It's just, some people do it where they go around the edge and they leave a little gap. I don't, I do it this way. And this is a tip I picked up from an, another YouTube video that I watched. But for the life of me, I, it was so long ago, I can't remember. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put right side facing up and then the lining down, whatever way around, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to pin it and stitch all the way around the edges. 
or around the edge a quarter of an inch so if you don't want to watch this bit you can just fast forward through it mm, if you want to watch it carry on watching <coughs> excuse me right i think what's what's needed is a nice drink but may ask hubby has gone to bed because he's got to get up for work early in the morning and left me to my own devices actually so i've had quite a nice evening been crafting a lot i've been making some some uh, gifts for other people and quite enjoying it actually just trying out new things all the time and at the moment my passion is my sewing machine i've got my sewing machine out i've got quite a few sewing machines actually and i'm really enjoying it because I do love sewing. I'm not the best sewer in the world, I have to say. But you've got you've got to do things that you enjoy. And you do, as a crafter, you do um it's like you almost recreate yourself and you go off on all these different all these different things, but you always come back to the things you love the most, which is uh, just put on the back burner for a bit get on with this so once you've pinned it all some people don't pin I like to pin because I know where I am then then we have to stitch it so I'm I might need to have to sort out this lighting because you I don't think you can really see what I'm doing but I'll give it my best shot so I need to go back to a straight stitch now and do it nice a good a good tight stitch because obviously well it doesn't really matter because you're going to top stitch anyway so i would say don't worry too much i'm talking I'm talking absolute rubbish right then so i'm going to do a quarter inch seam all the way around and i'm just going to follow my my foot because that's what i do i don't know if that is a quarter of an inch probably not but there you have it and it's quite a tight stitch I'm going to be doing. If I can find my foot, my lever. So sort of tangled up with these wires here somewhere. Right then, let's do it. And I'm sure the light is so bright, isn't it? If you can't see, I do apologise. But it's the light on the sewing machine is just so bright. That's what I'll do when in a dark colour. I don't think this is working. Never mind, we'll carry on. Stitching all around the circle. It's all wrapped up in this stuff. Come on. Don't worry about it being too neat. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry at all. I'll do it in a darker colour for you to be able to see. I'm 
we're coming back round. So now, now we've got that, I'll just move my machine out of the way, I might carry on filming like this. It doesn't all have to be right over our heads, does it? Let me zoom out again. Zoom out, that's the best I can do. Right then, so now, all you've got to do is you've got to have a little snip. This is going to take a while as well, but every, I would say every quarter of an inch, half an inch, because it's a circle, we want to snip it all the way around. Just keep going around. Cut in, just cut up, don't cut right through the stitches, obviously, because that's not going to be good. But that just helps it when you turn it. a bit of time but it's quite therapeutic actually right I think so anyway I've got quite a few projects actually I wouldn't mind showing you on the machine if you if you want to if you're interested just give me a bell uh, well give me a shout down in the comments let me know because uh it's nice to do something a bit different. In this year, new year, I want. I just said I want to go get my channel back up and running and back on par with things that you might be interested in seeing. Because I do a lot of creations that you don't actually see. I mean, I'm on a Facebook group as well. And lady on there, she's always saying to me, "Oh, why didn't you put pictures up on what you've done?" And I think, "Oh, do you know what I mean? Who's gonna?" Who's going to be interested in it? Well, that's just a confidence thing again, isn't it? Oh, I've got a bit close there. Blimey. Go oh, blimey. So this is just to make sure that when you turn it, it's not um, it's not going to fight you. And it is tedious, but it's it's worth the effort, I tell you. When it's all done, it looks absolutely beautiful, this bag. And it's got little, comp little compartments, so you could use it for uh, makeup, jewellery. Um, I made one for Colette for Christmas, and she uses hers to put her, um, her scraps in. Or she wants to put some scraps in to take into her, out of her craft room when she sits and watches the telly. And it, take, it holds quite a lot. I mean, you can make the square, the square. The circle's smaller, you can make it bigger, you can make a bigger bag, it's up to you. Just don't be afraid to experiment. I didn't have a template, I just watched a YouTube video of a drawstring bag. I thought, oh, that looks easy. So now, what I'm going to do is just turn it by the slit, turn it in the right way, then I need to press it and then top stitch it. But I won't press it because it will take too long. So hopefully. So what you need to do with this one is obviously perhaps I won't top stitch it while you're watching. So this is the this is the top the outside of the bag. Then you've got the the inside one. You do exactly the same. So it does need pressing really to get all the edges out. So I'll just put the ironing board down as well. So what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press it. And then I'm going to top stitch. You see where the button hole is. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stitch all the way around there, and then I'm gonna stitch a channel just past the button hole all the way around as well. So that makes your channel then for 
your actual your ribbon to go in or whatever you're going to use to as a drawstring um yeah so that's it basically so that's the first one done i'm going to iron that but before i do that i'm going to do the second one this circle here is exactly the same it needs the lining exactly the same concept with the lining you need to put put get your little your round circle your four inch circle wherever that is what have i done with that oh, i'm not very good at this am i so i need my four inch circle whatever how have i done with that aha so four inch circle we're going to find the middle yeah again circle on circle and then line there and then opposite line there you can see that join the two lines together with a ruler this is all it being going to be it's this is going to go uh, uh, you'll sh you'll see it when i put it all together you these you won't even see these so and all we do with this is so all around the edge. I saw a bit cut open first, didn't I? Yeah, that'll help. I was going to rush this, but I'm not going to bother. And another tip, which I didn't do on my last one, what I recommend is that you pin where this, the opening is, because otherwise, as you're pinning it round, it all stretches. And I forgot to do it on the last one, on the big circle, but it's not the end of the world. So, pin all around the edges. So we've had all, all had a good week and a good weekend. We've had um, a quiet day today. We went out shopping and did all our running around yesterday. And then today I was like, oh, I don't know what to do with myself. So I've just been in the craft room most of the day. Just uh, enjoying myself. Actually, I do love it. If I, if I could stay all day every day, I would. I just love it so much. But I've got to go to work, get some pennies able to craft. Crafting's not cheap. So we're going to do the same now. We're going to stitch all the way around. If you can if you want to fast forward through this you can. Let's move it so you can see. Maybe if I do it like that, you might, oh, that might be better, mightn't it? Can you see it now? I don't know. Just have to get the position of the camera right when I don't know make it bigger so make it If you go a bit wonky, crafting's all about. No, you still can't see it.
I just used the liner from um, the wedding dress because there was a lot of lining as well that went with the wedding dress and I was like, oh well I might as well use that. Waste not one not, as they say. I'm coming back right now. I need the stitches a bit bigger. So and then yet again we have to snip all around the edges but this one's a bit smaller than the last one so do it in two parts I'm going to do this finish this off and then obviously I'm going to turn it the right way I'm gonna give it a nice press top stitch it and then come back to you because all the work's going to be all the nice work's going to be done now all the fancy work's going to be done this is just the carcass as they call it even if they call it a carcass. Do they call it a carcass? No, not really. Stupid word, Ange. This is the base. It's all about the base, about the base. No treble. Let's be getting close. Yeah. So there we have it. This one I'm going to turn in the right way now. I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. Sewing machine. I'm going to take it to the ironing board. I have to get the ironing board out again. I'm going to press it down and then I'm going to top stitch all around the edge on this one. Actually, I don't know if I will because I might just put the um, the frill on that. I'll see. I'll, I'll press it anyway. I'll press that one. The other one I'm going to press as well. And I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll maybe I'll show you that as well I'll just stitch I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is stitch around there so I'll do that off camera and then I'll come back to you and then we can do the channel and then we can put all the nice frilly bits on it which will um, make it all pretty what do you reckon yeah so we'll do that so when we close it before we close it up I'm going to press it all and then we're going to put the pattern in the middle then we're going to put that bit to that bit like that but we're going to put all the trim on first before we do that because we don't want to want it all proper, don't we? So, yeah, so that's part one of making up the bag. And then I'll be back with part two. So watch this space, ladies and gentlemen. The pretty bit's coming. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye for now. Bye, bye, bye.
Thank you.